Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to do some basic uh, importing curves from Illustrator. We'll import some text and then export some uh, drawings from Rhino into Illustrator. So we'll just create a new document from uh, in Adobe Illustrator. It doesn't matter what kind. We're just going to use some text. So I'll say text to import. I'll select it all and uh, bump it up to 72 points just so you can see it. But it doesn't really matter what size it is. There will be some import options for that in Rhino. So here it's still a text box. Uh, I'll just select the text box and go object expand object and fill and this uh, breaks it down into the individual curves and we'll select all of all of those letters and say no fill but there will be a, a black outline and that's all we need to do in in Illustrator so I'll go ahead and save this to the desktop I'll say text Save, OK. Uh, the default options are OK. Now we'll go back into Rhino and go File Open. We don't need to save the document that's already open. And uh, by default, the uh, Rhino 3D models, just the 3DM file format, are selected. So we're just going to see the Rhino models that I have on my desktop. If I go down if I drop down the file types to all files then I can see all of the, the PDFs and Illustrator files and whatever I have that's importable on my desktop. So I'll just go to the text file that I just created and go open and it'll ask uh, if I want to fit to default screen or preserve units. I'll say preserve units and one inch in Adobe Illustrator equals five Rhino units is the default. I'll say that's okay. That's fine. Turn off the grid so you can see it a little bit better. But this is the the basic curves that I just got from Illustrator. So they're all broken down, and the inside of the P is different from the outside of the P, and the M and the dot on the I are all separate. So I'll just select all and group them just to a uh, little bit the safety factor, and then I can do whatever I want with them. So I'll select them and. You can do extrude, and that's the basic uh, importing text or curves from uh, Illustrator. So another thing I can do is uh, export drawings and whatever I have from uh, Rhino into Illustrator. So here I'll just create some basic uh, geometries in Rhino and I can I'll select those and say file export selected and then I'll export the, these to the desktop and it, the default file is still the Rhino 3DM but I'll just drop down and say uh, Adobe Illustrator and there's tons of uh, export options uh, into AutoCAD or 3D Studio wherever you need but we'll just do Adobe Illustrator for uh, just the the lines. So I'll, I'll just call it Rhino Lines. And I'll save and it, the export options will say preserve model scale and uh, go ahead and say yes to, to the units that are here but uh, you might need to shift them around. And then I'll go back into Illustrator where I had my old text and I'll just do file open and on the desktop the uh, Rhino lines that I created is there in an Illustrator file format. So I'll just say open and here are my lines. And from there I can change the color or do whatever uh, operations I need to in Illustrator. So that's basic import and export from Illustrator to Rhino.